Joel's mom comes out to visit, and I get the classic Joel story. I don't know, has Jonathan told you the, the stories, you know, like, about... <laughs> Fuck, Jonathan. The stories are so tragic that I cried laughing. My parents separated when I was around four or five. His, his mom said, you know, the divorce was very hard on Joel. I used to draw really well. Then after my dad left, I'd just draw stick men. For some reason, that fucking set me off laughing and I couldn't stop. Just, just, now he just draws stick men. He's, he's just fucking lazy now. His dad's not around. All his artistic ability gone. And I'm like, Mom, what are you? Do, do not tell him these stories. And do, okay, but just, just just let me tell him about Santa Claus. I'm like, yes, <laughs> tell me about Santa Claus. Went to see Santa Claus, you know. And he said, you know, what do you want for Christmas? And he said, all that all I want for Christmas is for my dad to come home. <laughs> oh man, poor little kid, man. <laughs> he would die laughing. That's the only way he didn't get it. <laughs> The one Jonathan really loved, though, was when uh, at school, we're at school. The teacher said, OK, class, who's special? And everyone's hand went up, except for little Joel. <laughs> and Joel, how come your hand's not up? Why, you, why, why don't you think you're special? Well, if I was special, my dad wouldn't have left. <laughs> it's like, Joel, get, get over it already. Fuck, get over it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I guess it's, I'm glad someone got something out of my childhood abandonment issues.